great to be back again, friends. We are in Advent, the second Sunday of Advent, and we are going to share more from God's holy word, the Bible. The Bible is a true story. The Bible is a treasure book of stories old and new. It tells us how to live our life and it shows us what to do. It also reminds us of the story of Christ coming as a baby and being our savior. So let us go and look at this week's reading from the Bible. And this is from John chapter 8, verses, verse 12. So you can find your Bible and put the video on pause if you'd like to find John chapter 8, verse 12 in your Bible. It says, again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. God breaks through the darkness with light. Last week, we heard that he broke through the darkness with silence. And this week, he breaks through with light. Jesus's identity or who Jesus is, is the light of the world. This means that his followers will always walk in the light of his love. This applies to the past, the present, and future followers of Christ. They will always walk in the light of God's love. Whatever the circumstance, however life is taking you, good or bad, the closer we walk to Jesus, the brighter our pathway is. How many of you have followed someone that just lights up the way. How many of you find joy being with your family members? Who makes you smile the most? Who makes you feel good inside because they're showing you the way and the light and the way to go? Most For most of us, it's our parents, right? So Jesus lights all of our ways, even our parents' ways and our grandparents. This week, the second week of Advent, that Advent we light two candles the candle of hope, and the candle of love. One small flickering flame can seem so fragile, but two become stronger and brighter. Let us light the candle of love. And where is it? There it is. So we lit our candle of love. And I love it now. You can see your hope and your love candle. When we have a candle that signifies love, that is the love of Jesus Christ. My friends, there is no love like the love that God has for you and the love that God had so much love for all of us that he sent Jesus down as a baby to be our savior. That was the ultimate sacrifice for him to come down and be our savior here on earth and guide us and direct us simply because he loves us. Who loves you? Who do you feel loves you? And another question, who do you love? Can you take five fingers and name five people that you love? I have people and I have groups of people that I love. I love my parent. I love my husband. I love my daughter. I love the children of Grace Church. And I love all the members that walk with me in the faith here at Grace. And those are just five groups and people. I have so many more that I can name because I have a very large extended family. And I did mention them here today just because I only had five fingers to start with. But if you give me maybe 25 more fingers, I'll tell you some more people that I love. But when we light this candle of love, we know that it's talking about the love Christ has for us. He came down as a baby because he loves us and he wants us to receive his love and he wants us to share it with other people. So we can find ways to share love. So this Advent season, as you think about the candle that we lit this week, 
the candle of love, let's think about how we can show love, not just say it, but actually live it out and show it to others around us. Let us pray. Jesus, you are the light of the world. While on earth, you brought the light of love to every party you attended, every situation you faced, and every person you encountered. We invite you to do the same in our lives. Indeed, we pray that you are such a light in our lives that others will be drawn to you. In your name, we give ourselves in love. Amen. Friends, have a wonderful week, and I pray that you get to show love wherever you go and receive the same. Bye-bye. Thank you.